from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome back. Another edition of The Horse's Mouth, the Hammer edition here at Tommy Max Place. Lonnie Mars, Sammy Cavares, and our guest, Brian Barker. Hey, B, tell the audience what you're up to today, man, out there in the great community of Jacksonville. Just still standing and still breathing. That's yeah. the goal. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Uh, people don't realize that uh, I played 16 years, and this is the 16th season since I last played. Mm. So. I'm getting up there. In you the want to age. eat a pizza tonight? I'm, I'm, I'm getting, getting up in age. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go draw our right, sours right. and pizza at the yeah. beach. <laughs> yeah. So it's wow. uh, it's been uh, a great adventure so far, and yep. I hope to, hope to continue it. But it's funny. I, I know we all get asked. You know, do you miss it? I, I every time mm. I just smile from ear to ear. I'm like, of course I miss it. <laughs> we, I'd play right now if I could. We all I miss it for different reasons. That's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. we miss. Getting together like this, like yep. a little locker room. Yep. That was the, probably the greatest void for all of us when yep. it was over. Yep. It was going, you know, the keypad doesn't work anymore. Can't go <laughs> see the guys in the locker room. That's right. Can't get inside the parking lot. Yeah. It's against um, the rules now, by the way, for yeah. the media. We're in, in fact, they don't allow me in at all um, into <laughs> the building Yeah. because I don't have the right level of credential. Right. But, um, you know, the NFL is using COVID you know, mm. to... to shield a lot of players and coaches from a lot of media exposure. Yep. And as you guys know, I mean, I was friends with the, all three of you when yep. you played, and that was part of the the job as a journalist, I think, is right. to make relationships yeah. so that I could say to you after the game, yep. you played well, that, crap. Right. and, and, <laughs> yeah. you, and yeah. you would go, you know, that guy can't play at all. Right? <laughs> and I'd go, yeah. But exactly. we trusted you. But And I didn't trust that. Well, you can't sure. develop that anymore. Right. Because... Uh. I mean, I've never met Trevor Lawrence. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, what am I going to do? Introduce myself to him in a restaurant? Right. I mean, he's only he's he's only seen me on a on a video conference, but he's never seen yeah. me. Yeah. I've seen him. Right. He's heard my questions, but yeah, that's about you should it. be like, hey, Trevor, try this hair conditioner, yeah. man. It's a really good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think the key <laughs> that word hair looks great. The key word that you just said is journalist. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. today, what I see, I think what we all see is people write stories they write what they're told to write yep. they don't ask the questions they want to ask and there's no relationship you don't get zero in that relationship no, right. you don't have that trust factor it's <clears throat> hey this is what we want to push out so yeah. go go with it yeah no you're well, right you and, told and, me that a long time ago and, and, and that's what a lot a lot and a lot of organizations yep. tiger woods being the first person to be successful at it and you saw how that's crumbled for him hmm. was there's never news made about tiger woods any news about Tiger Woods is announced on TigerWoods.com. Right. The Jaguars would like all news to come from Jaguars.com. Uh, the right. Chiefs yeah. would like the exact same thing. Sure. You know, sure. Um, the the White House would like all mm -hmm. news to come from WhiteHouse.gov. <laughs> yep. By the way, don't go to WhiteHouse.gov. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have it. all tried that. Yeah, I don't do heard that. about it. WhiteHouse.gov. <laughs> yeah. they, like, they would like all... Right, control it. They, they would like to have this vertical integration yeah. of, yep. of information. Yep. And, I mean, the, the, the best... Disinfectant is mm. the white hot yeah. inspection, white hot light of inspection. Right, and when you have this kind of controlled behind the doors uh, environment, right. where you can do things without inspection, it breeds all kinds yeah. of bad things that happen. So it's controlling never... the message, basically. And yeah. you can't. No, you cannot. The thing to do about the message right. as a forty-five year old, forty-five year journalist, yep. get out in front of it. Right. All right. When it happens. Get out in front of it. Yep. You know that. Don't don't be sitting back. You know waiting. Yeah. Get out in front of it. I tell you what, I'm sick and tired of hearing this. How you know one another year, another young team. They're so young. They're so young. I went through the the depth chart of the 22 starters after the game or yesterday. Uh, six, seven are first or second year players. The rest are third and above. Yeah. I don't think that's a young team. Now, granted, your quarterback's young. You, I mean, I, I know there, there's some youth in it, but, but I heard yesterday, like, oh, the defense is young. The, the defense isn't young. Henderson's young. Right. Campbell doesn't start, but we'll give you him. Cisco doesn't start, but we'll give you him. And then Chase on. Who else is young? The D-line ain't young. Last Josh year, Allen's not young. Last year, the Jaguars had three players either 30 or older. And that was it. Yeah. On the 53. Yeah. Three. Players who were yeah. thirty or older. Right. I just feel like if you if you start, mm -hmm. you start a full year as a rookie, you're still young, but man, you they're a veteran. Yeah. Two years, 
going into your third year, you're a veteran. You're not a rookie. You're not a young yeah. player. You yeah. see, especially if you've started and you've seen all this experience. You've seen, you've yeah. witnessed it all. Yeah. I don't know why we keep having to hear that. Young that's, and that's, 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 that's a way to hide it. Right. It is. That's a way to hide it. But but again, uh, I, maybe they just figure it's young when you have new players on the team, new free agents on the team. Okay. It's young. It's They, they don't really understand fresh, how to play. Almost. Like powder it, fresh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the only way I can figure Something out. Something new. That, that. Yeah. It's new and exciting. <laughs> you just got to town. Yeah, yeah, town. Hey, he's new so, to town. Give me a chance. Yeah, Give me a so chance. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah. yeah I, like I said, I. I'm looking at the coaching staff, and I, I, after understanding how a coaching staff works, yeah, there's a lot that has to be done. I, yeah, and I don't course. know. I don't know if they they even right. have have their minds wrapped around how fast it moves and how much has to be done within a quarter, yeah. let alone a, an entire and, game. And I don't disagree with you, but remember, the only coach that was retained was the offensive line coach, right? <laughs> right. And I think four of the it's four it's of the nine right. penalties on offense were on the offensive line. Well, look, there was only one sack, but he was harassed all day. Yeah. He yeah. got hit a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he's going. Yeah, he's going to. By the way, they're not going to call it against yeah. him either. <laughs> right? No, no they, they want him to they're they're gonna feel gonna it. Let him yeah. feel. And, and I think I think too enough. We we we've seen some of the rookie quarterbacks from last year. Yep. And the previous year, really step in and do well. And we were thinking that that's what was going to happen yeah. with Trevor Lawrence. And it didn't happen that way. Yeah. Uh, and so. Yeah. Although Trevor, you know, look, I mean, he was off on some balls. So of course, he was a little off. Like, you know, the receivers still got to help him out. They got to do a better job helping the guy out. They were dropping balls. They, they, they were, were dropping were, balls left and right. There were so many drops in yep. key situations. No, you're right. He didn't throw, you know, he threw couple of bad balls. A couple or, of bad ones. You know, and a couple of the interceptions weren't good. But, but hey, I mean, this this, part of it. they didn't run the ball. I mean, right. didn't, yeah. he didn't right. run the ball. You're right. He's not any part of the problem. Right. Here. All right. So you mentioned Lack Kent 4. I want to ask you this from a media perspective. So you know there's media out there that want Urban to fail. They, they want him to fail. National media, not local, I don't right. think. But national media, they're like, Oh, he's out of it all. I mean, you, you saw on Reddit, which isn't anything, yeah, but, but they're like, the Southern he's taking the Southern Cal job, right? Oh, sick and tired. But you are hearing rumbling, Sam, already. that there's discourse inside, right. that he's really hard on people, yada, yada, yada. We're going to hear a lot from the media. There's going to be media coming nationally. Oh, look at Urban. Oh, look at his body language. He doesn't like it. He's well, going to get out of here. And also, how much new, truth are you going to put into any well, of it? The new communications people with the Jaguars, and you yeah. guys all worked with Dan Edwards. Sure. The new communications team. Uh, services the national media first, and mm. the local media is an afterthought to mm. that. So, so you're gonna the the, the stories are going to come out of the national media, right? Because you know they're not given the access to Mike Duraco right. or you know those those kind mm. of guys who who are in there. So, uh, I I do think that uh, there'll be a there'll be a change in urban staff as the year goes on. Maybe yep. not this year, but mm. after this year, yep. only because change. he's going to find the right he's going to find the right people that yeah. that kind of fit into what he does. Yeah. And and I think it would do him well, as Lonnie kind of alluded to, if he just admitted that hey, this is a bigger <laughs> deal than that even I thought, yep. and I'm I'm still learning every day. Yep. Because it's obvious he yep. is. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm naive. I've never done it before. I'm just thinking, you're the winner. Your your commitment, your structure, everything. I was expecting. I don't care about, about the this. loss. Think about I care this. about the way they lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been coaching college players your whole life. Yeah. When you go to an NFL practice, every guy on the field, all 90, yeah. every guy on the field is an all-star from yeah. college. Yeah. You think... These guys are unbelievable, yeah. right? Because right? all you've ever seen is your college team. Right. Now you stand out there and you watch these guys every day and you wonder, how can we ever lose? It's because for the first time in his career mm -hmm. since he left I uh, yep. Utah, the team across the sideline is at least as good as he is. Yeah, that's if, true. If not that's better. Because that yeah. Florida and Ohio yeah. State, yeah, that's true. he always out-talented the yeah, other absolutely. team. Absolutely. If they anybody lost, wanted. it was yeah. something weird going on. Yep. Yeah. All right, what are you expecting against Denver, Lon? I'll start with you. Expecting a bounce back, a close game? I mean, are we going to see any improvement? I'm going to start I, with that. Yeah, I think improvement will be the, uh, the key. Uh, okay. Honestly, offense, no no, you know, mental errors. Obviously, they, they happen, but not where they hurt us. Um, coaching staff <laughs> will actually get themselves together okay. so that 
plays are in at the right amount of time and, yep. and it gets called. Yep. Uh, defense will have to obviously slow down the run. Yep. I don't know if they're going to just completely stop it. So, yep. again, I've said it the whole time. It's going to be a slow build. They, yep. this, it won't kick in until. I will tell you this about the time because we were together when the play came in that one time. It like. Yep. 16 seconds to go, and it, you knew it was going to be delay a game because yeah. he wouldn't get it. He just got the call. Like, why isn't the call come out quicker? Like, get the as a former signal caller, as you were too, yeah. nothing worse than that call being late. You're like, give me that guy's damn call. Give me that call. They're, and they're yeah, sitting they're, they're, there they're, screwing they're, around, figuring yeah. out what the call is. Next thing you know, you're like, you've run out of time. Yeah. And on yeah. offense, that that hurts you. Yeah. yeah. What do you expect to be? Expecting any balance? I expect balance. Okay. Uh, they can't throw 50 times and <laughs> no. not run the ball. No. Definitely. Uh, I think that our fans are going to be a little more energetic yep. than the away the opposing fans, and uh, they, have to, they have to take the twenty four hour rule. It is we're not yeah. talking about this Thursday, right. yeah, and Friday, right. yeah. and Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's right. Focus. That's on right. Denver. Well, I'll tell you one thing that put a smile on my face, Sam, on Sunday was Aaron Rodgers getting his head kicked in, <laughs> <laughs> in Jacksonville. Why do you like that? Because I don't like air. I love Aaron Rodgers as a player. I don't like yeah. his air. I don't like he thinks he's he weird. stands there like he's, he's a weird guy. He's, he's getting weird. He, he doesn't talk to his family. I mean, he's yeah. getting really he and Danica more. Patrick split up. Yeah. He yeah. said he was taking a break from his fiance during the season. I mean, yeah, what is he that? He must be a weird guy. Yeah, he's strange. <laughs> this, torn, this, this, is a, this game this week is yeah. a game that the Jaguars could and should win. Mm. Denver doesn't come in with a superstar quarterback. No, they, don't. they don't come in with a dominating defense. They don't have a running game. That's I mean, they got Von Miller, but I mean, they, yep. they don't have they, they don't have something that you go, man. This is what's going to c- control yep. the Jaguars. As Lonnie said, a lot of improvement this week I would expect to see. Yep. And as Brian said, more balance. If the Jaguars are going to figure out how to win games, yep. this is one of them. And I think playing yeah. at home is going to be a big difference. Here we go. Must win in week two. It's hey. proud. Oh. Hey. Over and over yeah. and over. I'll tell you this. Von Miller, two sacks, three tackles for loss last week. I want to see who's going to block his ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, as no, in, as in three people. Who, who as in? Yeah, multiple. Yeah, multiple. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right, folks. No Thanks selling. for coming, man. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see you. Sammy, um, always a pleasure. My yes, man, Lon. Yes, That's sir. it for us here on The Hammer. We love getting together, talking about the beloved Jags or whatever else comes to mind. It's still, until next time, stay cool and be safe. And we'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth.